Hello, buenos dias, and ahoy. This is Amerikanishki. It's a special edition of Amerikanishki because normally we look at beloved American books by beloved American authors about topics that are relevant to American culture. However, neither the book nor the author in this case is American. The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling is the first book that J.K. Rowling wrote under her actual name for adults. After successfully completing the Harry Potter series, J.K. Rowling went off the record for a little while, and she published several books under a pen name that were written for adults. She didn't want people to simply grab her books because she was J.K. Rowling and she was the author of the Harry Potter series. But under the pen name Robert Galbraith, she wrote several very successful and very wonderful detective stories. People began to wonder who this Robert Galbraith was. It came to light that it was J.K. Rowling, and when she had proven herself as an excellent author, not only for adults, but also for children, she published this book, The Casual Vacancy. And to quote one random reviewer on the internet, it's a great book for you. If you don't mind the fact that the woman who defined your childhood as an author writes all of a sudden about rape, teenage sex, and drug addiction, which not to put too fine a point on it, are also topics that are relevant to American society. What is this book about? When Barry Fairbrother dies in his early 40s, the town of Pagford is left in shock. Pagford, the town, is seemingly a perfect English village with a cobbled market square and an ancient abbey, but what lies behind the pretty facade is a town at war. Rich people at war with poor people, teenagers at war with their parents, wives at war with their husbands, teachers at war with their pupils. Pagford is not what it first seems. When Barry dies, he has left an empty seat on the parish council. It becomes the catalyst for the biggest war that the town has seen yet. Who will triumph in this election, which is fraught with passion, duplicity, and unexpected revelations? Of all the books that we are looking at for Women's History Month, this is the only novel. That said, it's a novel that is so relevant to real life that it could be written about any real life story in the UK or in America. I'd like to share some of the quotes from it. You must accept the reality of other people. You think that reality is up for negotiation that we think it's whatever you say it is. You must accept that we are as real as you are. You must accept that you are not God. He never seemed to grasp the immense mutability of human nature, nor to appreciate that behind every nondescript face lay a wild and unique hinterland, much like his own. Fats was starting to think that if you flipped every bit of received wisdom on its head, you would have the truth. He wanted to journey through dark labyrinths and wrestle with the strangeness that lurked within. He wanted to crack open piety and expose hypocrisy. He wanted to break taboos and squeeze wisdom from their bloody hearts. He wanted to achieve a state of amoral grace and be baptized backwards into ignorance and simplicity. So this book is for you if you like books that analyze critically and honestly the flaws that are in society. If you care about people and telling the stories of actual people as they are without any fancy dressing up, this book is for you. That said, this book gave me what my fellow book lovers will call a book hangover. When I finished it, I had to sit on the couch for a little while and just stare into space to process what I had read. That said, it's one of my favorite books that I've read in my life. Keep reading, my friends. Nerds conquer the world. Mm -hmm.